Hundreds of swimmers got more than they could handle this morning at the 47th annual Waikiki Rough Water Swim. More than 300 people had to be helped back to shore due to strong water currents. The 2.3 mile race starts at Kaimana Beach and ends near Hilton Hawaiian Village. But once the race started, lifeguards and other volunteers began assisting swimmers who said they were just too tired to keep going. Elisa Arevalo was in Waikiki this morning and got some answers about what happened. Elisa? Yeah, Joe, more than 700 people participated this morning. I'm told most of the injuries were minor with things like shortness of breath and dehydration. However, one woman was taken to the hospital in serious condition after hitting a reef. It's called the rough water swim for a reason, but this year hundreds of swimmers got more than they bargained for. It just it felt like you're on a treadmill and never moving. I wish it had been a little bit easier. First timer Chris Davis says his experience could have gone better. You could look at the same piece of coral, swim for 10 minutes and see the exact same piece of coral underneath you. They pulled out a lot of people today. Race organizers tell me conditions were fine when they put out the buoys early this morning. They said the currents were totally neutral and then right before the um, the race started, our safety guys told us that there's actually a pretty bad current. But not bad enough to cancel, so the race went on. However, more than 300 swimmers struggled to finish, many of them saying they were just too tired to make it to shore. And so um, the water patrol that was hired for the race started to bring people that were tired. Um, that uh, didn't want to continue on with the race. On this one, we warn people, we tell them it's going to be tough. For even the fastest guys, we're pretty slow. The same scenario played out in the 2003 Rough Water Swim. Hundreds of people needed help. In the water today, hundreds of others finished the race, including Chris's seven year old son, Brahmin. Would you say it was hard at all? Mm. I love it. It's definitely one of the hardest things I've ever done. I can't believe he did it at seven years old. Race organizers do have permits from the city, county, and the Department of Natural Land and Resources in order to operate this event, and swimmers are required to sign a liability waiver to participate. We reached out to these agencies to see if granting permits would ever be reconsidered given the rescue rate. We'll follow up and let you know what we find out. Elisa Revelo, KHON2 News. This is not the first time the Waikiki Rough Water Swim faced challenges. Last year, the event was canceled because of high surf and rough conditions. In 2014, a man drowned during the event. He was identified as a teacher at Punahou School. In 2005, the race was also canceled because the currents were too strong. And in 2003, more than 300 people had to be rescued. But at one point, 700 swimmers were unaccounted for. At the time, it was considered the fire department's largest water rescue in history.